Oka Yunus, unbelievable fast bowler. In combination with Wazi Makram, he made up one of those combos that were very difficult and daunting to face, like Ambrose and Walsh. Yunus was fast. He ran in fast and he bowled even faster. destroys the stumps. He used to run in 40 meters every time, sprinted in 150 plus with reverse swing, unplayable, got wickets everywhere and against everyone. If you were an opening batsman in the 1990s, Wakar Yunus was, was one of those guys that you would really dread facing. Along with Wazi Makram formed probably the most potent pace attack to play at that time. I mean, even wicket keepers would sort of feel slightly apprehensive keeping to him. His ability to unsettle batsmen was uh, something to behold. So him in full flight, running and unleashing himself at you, uh, was one of the most daunting prospects that a top order batsman could face. Wakar Yunis, reverse swing, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Superb delivery. We saw Glenn McGrath knock over Brian Lara with an unplayable delivery. I think that would have got almost any player in the world out. With that low slingy action, he managed to get fantastic reverse swing. Knew how to control the ball and, and what to do with it. He didn't really aim for your head or your throat like, like fast bowlers of the past. He, he aimed for your, for your toes. He tried to crush your feet and he tried to crush your stumps. Got to have the control to reverse swing the ball and to get those Yorkers steaming in at batsmen's toes. Bowled him! Clean bowl! And the fifth wicket is down for 130 and the crowd loves it. That's what this one for brilliant at setting batsmen up. He'd just hold his line outside off stump uh, and then a real effort ball and got it swinging in fast and late and dipping right into your toes onto the base of the stumps. Waka is a fantastic person as well off the field, uh, a great guy to talk about the game. I think that generation of Pakistan cricketers really took the game to the next level.